The simplest kind of thermal sensor is the bimetallic type. This is a bimetal thermostat from an attic fan controller. Its job is to turn on the fan when the desired temperature is reached. The neutral wire goes to the fan motor. When the switch closes, it sends the hot to the other side of the motor winding. On the bottom of the switch is a bimetallic strip. It's two strips of different kinds of metal joined together that expand at different rates when heated. Let's say our bimetallic strip is made of brass and iron. Brass has a higher expansion rate than iron. As the temperature rises, the strip bends in this direction. When the temperature falls and returns to its original state, the strip returns to its straight position. Bimetal switches are found many places. They may not look exactly like this one, but they work on the same concept. They regulate when the toast is done and the temperature on the stove. If a dryer or a motor gets too hot, they shut it down and they can measure the temperature too. To adjust the temperature setting, the cam moves up and down and adjusts the spacing of the two contacts on these two metal plates. The two metal plates have terminals. The hot wire is connected to those two terminals. This strip is spring-loaded and moves in unison with the bimetallic strip so that when the temperature rises and the strip moves in this direction, it closes the contacts. I've set my multimeter to read ohms. I've clipped the leads on either side of the switch. I set the switch for about 90 degrees, room temperatures around 70, and I'll apply heat with a heat gun. And the switch has tripped and closed. And it took about two or three minutes for it to restore. That's how a bimetallic switch works. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.